I tend to be like my worst critic. I do have this one little tradition that I want to do with my kids. It's just a little bit more challenging is all. Okay, so hello and welcome to Vlogmas uh, Day 5. Hello. Happy Friday. Hi. My hair and makeup just look crazy today. I don't know what it is. I wanted to do a quick little Amazon unboxing. I didn't want to open it without showing. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I've already purchased this item multiple times. Yeah. But as you may know, I am obsessed with Celsius. My two current favorite flavors from Celsius are the Guava Kiwi and Tropical Vibe. Those are like the best. Ow. Isabella, leave him alone. She just wants to hug you. That's, that's her way of being nice. Do a little quick unboxing of an item. <laughs> Here it is. I just love the tropical vibe flavor Celsius. I had to get the 12 pack. I think it's on sale. I think it's on sale. I'm not too sure, but I, I think I got it for like $22, maybe $23 for a pack of 12, which I don't think it's too bad. I tried the berry flavor, not my favorite, but tropical vibe and guava kiwi are the best. Anyways, my battery's about to die. I need to start editing yesterday's vlog. By the way, Vlogmas Day 2 is now up. Actually doing pretty good at this whole daily, oh, I don't wanna jinx it, but I'm doing okay. Um, yesterday, I was kind of dealing a little bit with like self-doubt. I was questioning whether if, not that if it's worth it, because the whole idea of me doing Vlogmas is to capture the little moments, so you know, the kids playing and like little, clips here and there of them but at the same time I tend to be like my worst critic dealing yesterday evening with like self-doubt that's why yesterday's vlog I kind of stopped vlogging after the whole cupcake thing because I just kind of got really down about like my content and started questioning whether if it's even interesting if there's even a story to tell but today I do feel a whole lot better because I kind of went back to my why of why I'm doing this why I'm doing vlogmas and that's just to basically capture all the little moments with my kiddos and be able to say that I've done it because I've tried it so many years and I just can never do it. I'll do it for a couple days and then I just stop because it's just, it is, it is hard. It is like a challenge, at least for me. And so overall, the whole, you know, capturing the moments of my kids and, and but also it being like a challenge for me because I feel like I need to be challenged every once in a while just keep myself more hooked on it I don't know I genuinely love YouTube and creating content it's like my favorite thing I love creating vlogs I love finding music for it I love like putting it all together I love seeing the end results it's just like a real mood booster I do get the occasional self-doubt what are you doing? You're wasting your time. But basically dealing with self-doubt over here. But today's a new day. I feel better. I feel great. The kids are good. The kids are healthy. And it's Friday, so I'm just gonna go on with my day. I have a couple of things that I need to do today. I want to edit Vlogmas Day 4 and then do the thumbnail, description, all that, have it uploaded. Mommy. I do have this one little tradition that I want to do with my kids. I can never seem to find the time to wrap these, this tradition. Basically the tradition that I want to do with my kids every year, until they like kind of grow out of it, is I want to buy 25 books, wrap them up, and every day leading up to Christmas, they open up a present, meaning a book, and we read it together. That's one every day leading up to Christmas. Today's actually December 2nd, so we are technically a day behind, but I already have the, I have five out of the 25 books, um, cause ideally it's supposed to be December 1st through the 25th. Five out of the 25 books, I got them at the Goodwill. Five books for $1.99, which I don't think that's like a bad deal at all. But I think it's just like such a cute little tradition that I can do right now that they're little and they'll be interested in up until like they're older and they just kind of like, okay mom. I'm not interested in these little books or maybe they will maybe I'll have to and eventually just upgrade to like chapter books or just but that's what I want to do with them but yeah happy Friday uh, it's upside down yeah. silly no it's the other way it's still upside down is it turning it like this there you go Good job. You matched all the letters? Yeah. Okay, so Isabella's down for nap time. Making chicken nuggets for Miguel Angel. I swear, I don't 
know what it is but his appetite has just like it's insane like he used to be super picky and now he just eats so much um so i feel like he's like always hungry yeah so i'm making him some chicken nuggets i think i'm going to film i sound like a broken record but i think i'm gonna film december monthly reset i wasn't gonna do it because i was doing vlogmas or i am doing vlogmas and i feel like it's just like more stress on me but i do have big news in regards to some of the goals um that i set for myself in regards to lifestyle that i wanted to talk about so i feel like I need to film a December monthly reset. Well, I would consider it a pretty big thing. Basically, we purchased a vehicle this past month, November. And that's like a big thing that Hector and I have been wanting to do for like the longest time. In regards to goals, I did set it as a goal for the month of November and we achieved it. So I was able to check it off. So I wanted to kind of talk about that and what kind of led us to doing it or kind of helped us or what helped us feel a little bit more secure like financially. I feel like I'm all over the place with these vlogs. I feel very groggy today. Like I'm still like trying to wake up, which is crazy because it's already two o'clock. Actually, we saw the Polar Express this morning and I don't know why I was getting emotional um, because my son has never seen it. So this was like the first time that we actually sat down and watched it together. The Polar Express was a movie that I watched like every single year, Christmas time. Um, without a doubt. I don't know. I got kind of emotional because he was actually into it and he was just like amazed with like all of the things that were happening in the movie and it kind of made me emotional because I was like this is a movie that I used to watch when I was little and like now he's watching it too and we're watching it together and so started kind of tearing up certain parts of the movie and I don't know it was just such a sweet little moment. But anyways I also wanted to show you um, a pair of shoes that I got at the Goodwill. I think I mentioned. By the way, I finally put away the fall decor. It's all in that Amazon Prime box. I don't have any boxes or containers for my fall items because honestly, I don't have a whole lot of fall items. Christmas, I feel like I have a galore stuff in regards to fall. I don't have much, so I don't really need like a box box. So that's gonna do for now. Anyways, but I do need to buy something for here, like decor wise, because I don't. I don't have anything. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you the shoes that I bought at the Goodwill. I went a couple, like a week ago, I'd say. But I got these Sperry's for $5.99. Like, they are in such, like, great condition. They're, I'd say they're, like, a sea green. I don't know why on the camera it's kind of showing as brown or gray. But to me, they kind of look, like, in, in between, like, a sea green and, like, a gray. But honestly, like, look how clean. Like, I mean, they're still a little bit dirty, right? But, and there it is. It was $5.99 and they are my size. And the inside, look how clean that is. Like, that is crazy. Like, these are practically brand new. Yeah, look, almost done. Two minutes, two minutes. Oh, one minute. Vlogmas day four, Vlogmas day two is live already. Vlogmas day three is scheduled, uploaded, ready to go. And Vlogmas day four is currently in the process. So doing pretty good with this. I don't want to jinx it, knock on wood. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I've kind of figured out a routine or not a routine, but kind of like filming like three days in, in advance was very helpful in regards to just kind of keeping up with it. I just finished filming December monthly reset. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. I just get so caught up with wanting to like sit down and like not be interrupted, but it's just so hard when you have two little ones. And if you're a parent and you're trying to do YouTube, you know exactly what I mean. It's just a little bit more challenging is all. 